In less than 10 hours, a grand jury will hear the evidence in an officer involved shooting at the Beaver Creek Walmart. Good evening, I'm Robert Lowry. This comes more than a month after John Crawford III was shot and killed. Beershell Edmay has been following this case and she's live with the decisions facing this grand jury. Well, in a couple hours, nine people will be here to join and convene the grand jury. And they'll also be met with people calling for transparency. I spoke with an organizer who's leading a pilgrimage to the courthouse and as well those who have their concerns. On August 5th, John Crawford III was shot and killed by Beaver Creek officers. Officials say he was ordered to put down his weapon and Crawford did not. Later, it was announced the 22-year-old had an air rifle BB gun sold at Walmart. We went back to the store to hear what people had to say. If somebody's told to put a gun down, they should put it down. And that uh, it's got blowed out of proportion. You know, and somebody that age should know better than to cause a ruckus like that. I'm not sure. I'm, I have mixed emotions. Yeah, mixed emotions about it. It's sad. Sad on both counts. So I'm reserving my judgment until I find out exactly what happened. I don't make snap judgments like that. I don't, again, it goes back to the provoked or unprovoked. I don't know if it was justified or not. So I'm trying to stay open on it. Two weeks after the shooting, Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine announced a grand jury would convene in early September. That date was pushed back. A special prosecutor, Mark Pittmeyer, was assigned. In late August, DeWine showed a short portion of the surveillance video to the Crawford family and attorneys. That has stirred debate for more transparency. Monday, an estimated group of 300 to 400 people will make a pilgrimage from the Beaver Creek Walmart to the Xenia Courthouse, calling for clarity. It's almost like it's like shoot first and ask a question later when it's like a young black male especially. So we, we just feel like there's not really any justice for the black image especially, like the, the youth. So. The walk is more than 11 miles, but organizers say it's one they'll need to make to support the process. Now, organizers I spoke with say they are pro-police, but they're looking for answers. Now, I as well reached out to a Facebook group that's in support of these officers. They say as of right now, there are no plans for rallies, but they will keep monitoring this investigation and case. Reporting live in Xenia, Beershaw Admay, 2 News, working for you.